Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to uh, give you an update on Brad. Uh, Brad had a rough day yesterday. Uh, he literally slept, I reckon, about 20 hours out of 24. Um, and today, I think, might be around about the same. Uh, in between his sleep, um, he was back and forth to the bathroom. Um, as I've said before, nothing really stays in Brad now. Um, you know, everyone just goes straight through, even the modium. And then uh, there's another pill the hospital gave him to try and slow his bathroom um, activity down. Um, has not worked. In fact, uh, it's actually speeded up. So Brad does have his nurse come in this afternoon between three and four. And then uh, he has an appointment at the Moffitt Cancer Centre on Thursday. And I'm going to be driving him through. Um, so uh, to see, get his basically his belly drained from the fluid around his uh, liver and kidneys and stomach, uh, which builds up and obviously causes a lot of pressure. Um, and then um, he has to go and see uh, his cancer doctor as well after that for half an hour. Uh, Brad is at the point where uh, his body is that tired and his mind mentally is exhausted with the cancer and with the, uh, the pills he's on, the pain he has to go through, the discomfort and the bathroom visits. Uh, Brad does have morphine, which he still doesn't want to take right now, but um, I think it's getting to that stage where it might actually be a benefit for him. Um, but the nurses are supposed to be coming three times a week um, to see him. Um, so, but um, I think it will be the case of where he is um, not long out of the hospice. Uh, tell you the truth. Um, the photograph I just did um, on my page, and even the update one from the um, below it from the hospital the other day, uh, Brad has lost, you know, it's hard to believe, even more weight over the last couple of days since then. Um, also, his eyes are looking very sunken um, because uh, I said there's nothing there. Um, Brad literally cut himself in the shower by just washing. Uh, when he rubs his skin, yeah, basically it flits now. It's that thin. Uh, many people don't realize that Brad had five quadruple, five heart bypasses group quadruple. Um, and his skin is that thin on the chest. You can even see where uh, they stapled stuff inside, you know. Um, so you can actually see through his skin um, into his chest. Uh, so, um, you know, he is that, uh, it's basically like tissue paper on bone now. Um, <laughs> I've had a few cries, and I do, when, when he's not around. And um, I cried this morning. Um, it's those bursts now of crying, you know, where uh, I will literally just start crying. <laughs> I mean, I'll say good morning to Michelle. Um, she went outside to do her schooling. And um, as well as having breakfast, you know, the tears opened up. And um, um, part of me is scared to cry, I think, because um, I know once it does stop, it's not going to stop. Um, even though I don't want to lose Brad, in my head, I'm, I, I feel it's wrong, but, um, but I can't help it. It's like in my head, I just want to uh, Brad to pass away peacefully in his sleep because we know he's dying um, and he's in so much discomfort and pain and misery. And, I said, even in the last couple of days, he's lost so much more weight um, and so thin. And um, and even though you don't want to think about it, um, I was talking to Michelle this morning um, again about Neptune, uh, they're called uh, funeral services, um, because whatever Brad's wishes are, which we know anyway, really, um, 
But uh, Brad, even today, I said to him, how are you? And he said, he's over it. He's over life. Um, he's just mentally and physically tired. And I can't help him. I can't help him. So, and I hate seeing him in pain. I don't want to lose him, but I hate seeing him in pain. And is he's not existing. Um, the fact where he can't make it to the bathroom, uh, and he's going several times a night, uh, where food and drink, you now literally even water is just coming straight through him. Um, I have got a funny feeling that when the nurse comes later on this afternoon, she may recommend him or call the hospital and recommend he go back in again. Um, I still say they let him out of the hospital soon, <laughs> too soon. And the way he was ejected from that room was disgusting. I mean, he was left in that lobby. You know, he's terminally ill with cancer. There's no flesh on him. And he was left in that lobby in a wheelchair. And there was even, not even any nurses around him. Uh, just in case, not even a hot blanket to keep him warm. Uh, that is disgusting. Um, I, it's very hard to see. Uh, so I just want to give you an update. Um, it really does feel like we're on borrowed time. Please don't call Brad um, because he is sleeping right now. Uh, me and Michelle need to go out to get to the pharmacist to get some more uh, medication for him. We also need to go and get some special food. Thank you, Sandra. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to be a rock. It gets harder each day. And of course, I didn't sleep last night because, you know, I couldn't sleep because making sure Brad's okay. You know, and running back and forth to the bathroom and um, make sure he's not in pain, make sure he's got his medications. Um, from Amadeus looking at me, as I said to Michelle's dog, looking at me this morning, crying, still looking at me now. As Bronco is. Uh, but we are, we're on borrowed time. Um, and you can really see that this morning. Uh, anyway, please don't. Um, everybody, if you need to, any information, please call me or Sandra or Michelle. Um, please let him sleep today until the nurse comes. I'm trying to get some fluids into him, but um, they're going straight through him, even just fluids, even just water. And, um, you know, he um, is in, basically he's over it, you know, he said this morning he's over it. He's had enough now. He sort of wishes, you know, I think he wishes that he would just, you know, go to sleep as well. And um, I said to God this morning, I said, please don't let this suffer anymore. <laughs> Brad suffered enough. Brad suffered enough. I mean, he's, he's a guy with uh, a lot of lives. I mean, he survived uh, five heart bypasses, and then he had a cyst on his back, and then he's got he's had different infections over the years, and um, he's, he survived the first round of pancreatic cancer and chemotherapy, and obviously it came back with a vengeance. But it's uh, hard to uh, see, it really is hard to see. Um, I need to call his friend Art in Philadelphia. I know Matt's on here somewhere, but I need to call him and just keep him informed as well. Um, thank you, Jason. Mm. It's hard times. Thank you. It really is hard. He's my soulmate. I said before, I never thought I'd ever 
find the right one. <sighs> so hot. Anyway, I'm going to go wash my face and I uh, just want to give everybody an update. Uh, please do keep Brad in your prayers. Um, I know he's said this morning he can't take it this anymore. You know, he's had enough because nothing's helping him. And none of the medication is really helping him. The only thing I think that really helps him is his uh, painkillers. A little bit. I said he's got morphine there which he doesn't want to take but I don't know how you can help Lorella thank you I wish I had a cure I wish I could take it away no I think the next one page is going to be and is I think it's coming soon is um he needs hospice care. <laughs> he really does need hospice care because I can't give him everything, you know, to help him. At least in the hospice, they'll be able to, you know, even the bathroom um, sod out for him and keep him pain free at least. Uh, because we know the end's coming. And uh, we know we're living on borrowed time. And it really is borrowed time now. Time is ready to run it out. Anyway, I'm going to go and let me know. Wash my face. And um, I love you all. I love you all. Love you all. Thank you. And uh, please do keep writing your thoughts. <laughs> Pray for me. Because I think I need extra strength as well. Anyway, hope you will. See you later, Sandra. Have a nice day, Jason. Lorella, thank you so much for everything you do. And Robin as well, and Linda, and Alison, and Kerry, and Janice, uh, everybody. Kenneth in Las Vegas, uh, and David, his husband. Uh, thank you all. Thank everybody. Adam and Jess up in Tennessee. I'd be here all day thanking everybody. But literally, thank everybody uh, for all of your support. It really means the world to me. Bye for now, everyone.